Hey everyone, it's Ann Carden here and I am a business and marketing consultant for contractors. I help them maximize their money, optimize their operations to build a great business, a great bank account and a great life. And I want to talk to you today about just a couple of things that I see contractors do in their business that really, really holds back their growth and really their success. And so I just want to speak to this for just a minute. Uh, number one, I want you to realize that receivables are not money until they are in the bank. Okay, so a big mistake contractors make is they bankroll jobs and they have all these receivables out there, meaning you've invoiced people, but you haven't yet collected the money. And they, in their mind, they treat the receivables like money. Well, it sounds great, but truthfully, it's not money. You can't take it and buy something with it. You can't spend it, right? And so until it's money in the bank, it is not, it doesn't count. And so you have to be collecting the money for the jobs you're doing, that's first. And number two, you have to be treating those receivables like they are just a piece of paper until they are actually the paper you can spend um, in your life and in your business. And so don't be confused by this. One of the biggest reasons companies go under is because they they lose out on cash flow. They, they are short on cash flow. They don't have enough money to pay their bills. And yet a lot of times they will have many, many outstanding receivables. They will have a lot of invoicing out there, but they're not collecting the money. It doesn't do any good to keep doing jobs if you're not collecting money. The purpose of a business is to make money. The purpose of a business is to put money in a bank account and give you a livelihood, right? And you cannot do that if, number one, you're not invoicing people. Maybe that's a place where you are uh, dropping the ball. And this happens a lot of times in, in contractor with contracting companies. They get super, super busy and they're just doing the work, doing the work, doing the work. And they're not getting the invoices out and it's, therefore they're not collecting the money. And then all of a sudden, they find themselves cash poor, they find cash flow problems, and their company can't move and it can't grow and it can't do all the things it needs to do. And so I want you to be really careful about this in your company. It can be a real game changer when you start focusing on the money. The money. You have two responsibilities really in your company to be a business. One is you have to do the work, obviously get jobs, do the work. Number two is you have to collect the money. And if you don't collect the money, you're not going to be in business very long. So I really just wanted to speak to this because it is just an oversight in a lot of contractors' businesses. And I know it's not on purpose. Of course they know they're supposed to collect the money. But believe it or not, it doesn't happen a lot. Um, in a lot of businesses and so you have to fix this problem you have to stay focused on the money every day you should be invoicing you should be collecting and here's one other thing that you need to be aware of the longer those invoices don't get paid the less likely you are to get the money and again you're treating your company like a bank so Figure out a way to invoice on time, get it done, and collect the money. That should be the priority of your company. Obviously, you want to keep doing work and you want to keep bringing in jobs, but if you're not getting the money in the bank account, it all doesn't matter. So don't be confused with what your role as a business owner should be. I hope this is helpful. If I can help you in any way, please reach out, but I would love for you, if you're watching this back, to do hashtag replay or leave me any comments and more people will see this and it can be helpful for other people in business. So you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.